Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share my full review of the HP 930 Creator Mouse. Now, this is a sponsored video. When HP reached out to me and asked whether or not as an affiliate I would be interested in covering this, I said yes, and that's because I believe it's not only a value to me, but to a large part of my audience, mainly you. So whether you're a graphic designer, a photographer, videographer, architect, pretty much anything creative, this mouse will likely change the way you work or just enjoy your hobby. As you can see, I've got an Omen 30L desktop I'm reviewing with a RTX 3090, my 31 inch HP Dreamcolor uh, display for color proofing video and photography, and then two Spectres, the 13T and 15T that I've all been using in concert with the 930 Creator mouse. Now, what's unique about this wireless mouse? Well, it's not just another programmable device. Seven buttons, 128 grams, and really the ability to utilize it inside of Adobe's Creative Cloud as well as Autodesk in any way you like. It's compatible with up to three workstations at once. That's using the Nano uh, dongle that is housed inside the mouse. You plug that into your device of choice and then through Bluetooth 4.2 connectivity to additional computers. That's PC or uh, Mac. So really versatile. Uh, the DPI range is 800 to 3000, not the highest range, but at 89.99 US, you will be not just hard pressed to find something comparable, there isn't anything like this. Uh, and that's because HP has presets for all of the creative software I've mentioned, uh, which I was shocked how many pieces of software. And then of course, the ability to program anything you want as a macro. So let's take a look at what comes inside the box. Of course, the mouse, as I mentioned, 128 grams, not that light, not that heavy, but just heavy enough with that 3000 DPI top line to really give you precision where you need it. Now, lefties are out of luck, left out, of course. Type-C charging, which is really fast. Battery life, another strong suit here, uh, because one minute will yield three hours, and a full charge, uh, HP estimates, at 12 weeks, which seems accurate based on my experience. You can see there uh, the Nano dongle housed with that magnetic lid on the bottom really easy to get to and store in the event you don't need to use it. And by the way, you don't need to use it because as soon as you sync this mouse with any device, the HP accessory software installs. And I will include a link not only to the mouse for purchase, but also the accessory uh, software walkthrough that HP has. Now, in terms of overall build, fit, and finish, I think HP got this right. They wanted to make something that was attractive, uh, you know, form follows function, and they delivered on that. Uh, again, solid battery life, flexibility, and one thing I haven't mentioned is that with the sensor, the PixArt sensor they've employed on this mouse, you can use this on virtually any surface, including glass, and I did test that. I was predominantly working uh, on the black surface, the desk that you saw at the beginning of this video, but I had no problems uh, moving from any surface to another. Now, the seven programmable buttons, as I mentioned, uh, are all around, and I already told you about the sensor. You can see there the power switch, uh, and you know, again, really easy to pop off the magnetic bottom plate and gain access to that nano dongle. And that is one of the three ways, as mentioned, the most direct to connect. The idea here is that even Though it's not designed to be a portable mouse, of course it can be. And then seven buttons in total, your, your traditional right and left click. Uh, of course, you have a scroll wheel that has actually three buttons built, built in, left and right, as well as a center click. And then three along the right side of the body that I'm touching now. And then last but not le least, the dedicated button for connectivity. Uh, so whatever is illuminated is what you're connected to as you cycle through that. That's why right now the dongle is solid because it is not paired to anything. The button I'm touching now gives you the ability to switch between infinite scroll or what HP likes to call a hyper scroll to a stepped more precision scroll, something commonly found on gaming mice, but is incredibly, incredibly useful for creators in my opinion. Uh, in terms of uh, the software, which we're looking at now, 
All the programs on your system will be recognized by HP's accessory software, and then presets will be offered to you. You can see that right there with Adobe Illustrator. So uh, there are some of the presets. Anything that isn't in the preset list that you desire, you can obviously create a macro for and then assign it to any button of your choice. But where this really gets interesting is that HP also has a command wheel where you can assign eight additional commands. So clearly the idea here is assign whatever is going to change your workflow, make you more efficient and just make your work more enjoyable to accomplish. So it really is incredibly versatile, flexible, and depends on the user to really take full advantage of it. But the beauty is that they've given you so many presets. So here we're looking at Illustrator and some of the preset commands that are there for uh, this illustration of Barkley, our pup, uh, that our general commands you would use are things like the selection tool, the direct selection tool, the pen tool, the eyedropper, lock and unlock all, group and ungroup, brush, grow and shrink, but some particular commands that weren't there as presets that were important for this were things like the shape builder tool, the curvature tool, and the lock and unlock selection. But again, the beauty is, is that whatever your workflow is, you're going to make this mouse your own. You are not going to have to rely on the presets because they're not gonna cover everything, but the beauty is that HP has given you presets and there isn't another device on the market that does this. And if there is, it especially doesn't accomplish it at an $89.99 price point. I mean, this is a great mouse on its own, but then factor in the seven programmable buttons, which isn't new, they didn't reinvent the wheel, but it's the software side. And now we're gonna take a look at Photoshop, one of the most popular offerings, I think, for this device. Now, in terms of preset commands, again, you have your list. Some of the ones that I think are of particular importance are things like brush, grow, and shrink, crop, as well as the ruler, zooming in and out, uh, reverse color, and foreground. But, again, what you're going to use is going to be up to you. In this instance, uh, you can see again the programming of the command wheel, some of the custom commands that were vital, uh, that really helped change the way we were able to operate inside of Photoshop were things like free transform, as well as deselect and the marquee tool. And you'll see all of that come together here in this, for lack of a better word, illustration uh, inside of Photoshop that is predominantly being developed again by the Creator 930 wireless mouse. And, you know, I'm not here to tell you that this is going to make you uh, 20 or 30% more efficient in what you're doing, but I know that you won't have to go to the keyboard for a lot, for many commands that you traditionally would be relegated to. And that is what this mouse aims to accomplish. Make you more efficient, make you more confident, uh, and really customize software with your mouse to your liking. So it makes perfect sense that HP would now finally give creators a mouse designed specifically for their content creation. And granted, I'm only showing you a small sample subset of applications where you're going to be able to use this because this does work even in things like Microsoft Office and Zoom in a more limited capacity, but still giving you access to customize it however you want. But more importantly, the presets are there. And I think that's a major advantage because any other programmable mouse on the market, traditionally gaming oriented, which I'll talk about style later because I already mentioned the looks here are good, you would have to basically memorize all of your macros that you have uh, synced with each piece of software. Whereas this mouse, is going to permit you to do that seamlessly. And then if you want to customize beyond, you can. Uh, the lasso tool going to work there to create, to basically accomplish, finish this reflection on the storefront. Again, just a small example of how the Creator 930 really can change uh, your entire workflow. They haven't reinvented the wheel, but we've moved from wood to rubber. And hopefully that makes sense because there is a major difference using a traditional mouse or gaming mouse with programmable buttons as opposed to what you're seeing here uh, at work 
Now let's take a look finally at AutoCAD. For those of you that work in architecture and any design uh, oriented with CAD, you'll appreciate this. Some of the preset commands uh, that are critical, I think for most, are ortho, uh, grid, polar, group, snap, uh, properties. I think a lot of you use tool palettes uh, as well as select all. But then you have things beyond the preset, yet again, custom commands that you're going to want to program. So in our particular example that you're about to see, linear dimension, align dimension, make current layer, as well as trim and extend, these are critical commands that without the presets, you can still, of course, enable, create those macros, assign them to specific uh, buttons on the mouse, or as you're seeing here, create yet again your own custom command wheel and the eight commands i cannot stress enough that this is yet another element another layer of what makes this tool so unique and gives such flexibility so here you're watching a schematic obviously floor plan being developed we're rotating we're relocating these are things that you could do all with traditional commands but the creator mouse is giving you leverage that you traditionally just wouldn't have. And you can see it happening, even with something as simple as the trim tool. It's going on now. And again, if this isn't something that you see shaping or changing the way you work, then you know it's hard for me to imagine because I know as someone uh, working inside of, again, photo and video editing, that macros, the things I generally have to turn to, are not designed for the application. This mouse, is and that's why we have preset commands from hp and i imagine the roadmap for this is only going to improve if this mouse is a success and at 90 us dollars before tax it should be and i'm not saying this because it's a promoted video a promotional one i'm saying it because it is going to change the way i work and the aesthetic that you're looking at now that's part of the beauty of this device again i said earlier in the video form follows function HP got this right because one of the biggest drawbacks of using a mouse that would compete with this is that they all come from the gaming genre. And in doing so, they're not devices anyone is really going to be comfortable or rather would like to use inside of a traditional office setting. So we finally have a product that whether you're at home or in the office or in the field, it's going to look its role and more importantly, accomplish its role. It's not just another programmable mouse. And that's because HP took the time to deliver real software with real presets for such a wide variety of different uh, creative suites. I mean, I was shocked. I thought it would be only uh, the software that HP made mention to that they disclosed to me, but literally, I mean, there were so many pieces of software that it populated like Premiere Pro where I didn't expect to see any you know, preset functions they were there so we've got great battery life the 12 weeks of on a single charge i can't confirm but in a roughly a week it was about a 10 percent drop so that seems pretty close to their estimation uh, in addition to that the three different devices that may or may not be critical to you that's not a game changing feature but i still think it's an important one and the ability to use it with a pc as well as a mac uh, I did not test it with any iOS devices, so I can't speak to iPad. It is not compatible at present with Android devices, so my Tab S7 Plus was out of luck. But ultimately, again, build quality, performance, presets, all here, and it amounts to the best mouse on the market right now for anyone in any creative field, and I experienced it firsthand. No better way of putting it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.